All right, Sky. Hi. Sky, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Um, Riverside, Moreno Valley. Tell me about your family growing up. Uh, well, my family is like white. <laughs> so like, um, my mom was kind of strict like growing up and stuff. Your mom was what? Strict growing strict. up. Yeah. Um, she, do, she don't like what I do. <laughs> but, and then my grandparents, they don't like what I do, but like, I'm like a grandpa's girl, so like, my grandpa still loves me and shit. But, um, yeah. Well, have, let's go back to your childhood. What, what was your, how would you describe your childhood? Um, it was pretty good. I mean, it was good. My mom, my mom was a good mom. No abuse, nothing like that? Um, yeah, but like, but like from like mom's boyfriends and stuff. But like, it wasn't bad. Like, it was not bad. Mm -hmm. I made the most of it. What kind of girl were you in high school? Um, I was popular. Like, I had a lot of friends. Everybody liked me. How old are you now? 21. 21. How long have you been doing this kind of work? Three years. I'm going on four, like three and a half. How'd you get into it? Um, my homegirl, actually. We started off in like poker games and like online and um, at the strip club. Yeah. Now you're on Figueroa Street. <laughs> yeah. But it's not bad. Are you are you doing this with a uh, with a dude or on your own? No, by myself. You're by yourself. Yeah. That's hard to do on Fig, right? Mm, kind of, but like you just have to know the places like to be, and you can't act like you're alone. You have to act like you have a pimp. Act like you have somebody. Yeah, that's what I mean. Do you have kids? Yes, I have one. You have one. Yeah. And who? Where is he or she? Um, with my baby daddy's mom. And that's where. Glendale. I'm sorry? Glendale. Glendale? Yeah. Oh, okay. So where do you live now? Um, Inglewood. You, you're, you have an apartment? Gardena. No, I live in like, like with like my peoples, but like in a back house. Like I rent like so a you're, back house. You're staying with family or something? Um, something like that. Okay. Not blood, but family, yeah. And tell me about working uh, the streets. Is that, uh, mm -hmm. what, what, are, what are the ups, ups and downsides of that? Um, I mean, there's downsides, you know, it's not the safest thing in the world. <laughs> have you had things happen to you? Yeah, I have. But like, I've learned from them and I know like what things to avoid and what not, stuff not to do. It doesn't scare you away from doing it? No. I mean, there's been times where I was kind of scared, like, for a few days, you know? Like, I, I was scared, like, a lot of people that shouldn't have scared me, I'd be like, oh, I don't know, just because of the incident. But, um, but besides that, no, no, not really. Tell me about the, the your typical customer down there on FIG. Is it most of them are Mexican? Yeah. Yeah, most of them are Mexican. Lately, I've been getting more white dudes. Yeah. And, and you guys will go off to a hotel? Um, hotel? Sometimes car, car dates. Um, if they have like more money, then I'll do a room. And you, uh, are drugs a part of your life or no? They used to be. They used to be? Yeah. But not no more. What do you used to use? Um, like the M30s, like the pills. Hmm. So that means fentanyl. Yeah. If they're on the street. And you'll work what, what hours typically? Um, like, I'm more used to working like night shift because I like sleeping during the day because it's hot outside for me, but I'm also anemic, so like the, the nights I'd be cold. So like I'll split it up between like daytime and nighttime. How much money will you make in a day? 
typically like a thousand. A thousand a day. Sometimes less if it's slow, but yeah, but but that's pretty good money for somebody that's not giving it away to to a pimp, and not yeah. spending it on drugs. Yeah. I mean, I buy weed and stuff. And what do you do with your money? Um, well, I put some away for my son, and then I'm trying to like start my business and stuff. So. What business are you looking to start? Um. I'm, well, I went to school for cosmetology, so like I'm trying to start my laundry business and my nail business. Hmm. You're thinking. You're thinking of your future. Yeah, I'm trying to like invest in assets, like selling dogs or buying cars and selling them or buying houses, flipping them. I'm trying to do real estate. Hmm. Are you? Thinking of romantic relationships now, or when you're doing this kind of work, you just put that mm. aside. No, not really. It's hard. To, it's hard to have a relationship while you're doing this kind of work. I would think. Yeah, I don't really like want one. I don't look for that. What have you learned about men from doing this kind of work? There's good ones, but there's also bad ones. But it's it's a whole part of the game. That's why it's called the game. <laughs> was there something else you wanted to do with your life? Uh, when I was younger, I wanted to be a dentist. But like, you know. How, how did this become your your main way of? Was it because you had a, a child? That and like because. Like my family kicked me out and stuff, and like I was the middle child, so I was like kind of like, you know, like not the forgotten one, but like I felt like my family didn't like me type type stuff. So like I don't know, but I got kicked out when I was like seventeen. Are you the the black sheep of your family? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, and your family knows you're doing this. Yeah, well, not really. Like my mom, she knows, but like she's not cool to like. There's been times where I've been in a restaurant and my, mom, my mom's like, you fuck old men for money? <laughs> Loud, but like try to embarrass me, but like she knows like I'm doing it to survive. Type of and I'm doing good, I'm not doing bad, so. But she, but like now my family thinks I'm a stripper and like, cause I don't, I don't want them to think that like, yeah. Cause my mom's seen a video of me on fig. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. She was like, why are you out there? Is this a lonely lifestyle for you? Not really, no. No? I get to have fun, travel. You travel sometimes? Mm -hmm. Where Where will you go? Seattle. Um, been to New York, um, Miami. For work? Mm hmm For this kind of work? Oregon, Arizona, Vegas. Why do you travel? As opposed to just staying on fig? Because who wants to stay on fig their whole life? I'm trying to do something more than that. What does this kind of work do to your self-esteem when you have all these guys like driving by telling you you're beautiful, I'm sure, and, and. I mean, I already have high self-esteem. I'm not like, like I like, I love myself, so. You're pretty confident? Yeah, I'm confident. Naturally. What is the hardest part of this lifestyle for you? The having to have sex every day. <laughs> But you don't really have to every day if you know how to use your mouth. But like, so, but you do like at the same time. What would you say is the most misunderstood thing about girls that do this kind of work? Um, well, some people think we're just like toys, but like, but also like, People on the outside that aren't on the inside, like they see bad in it, but like it's really not that bad. Like 
like most of these girls, they're not like forced to do nothing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not everyone. Not every girl's been trafficked and all that. Yeah, and most of them aren't. Most of them do it by choice. So. You think you're addicted to the fast money now? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be hard for you to put down a thousand dollars a day. Um, I don't think Last I'm. Time. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm trying to get rich. <laughs> Do you have friends? No. <laughs> no? I don't like, I don't talk to females. Like, I'm not really like, I don't really have no homegirls. What advice would you give to a girl who's thinking about doing this kind of work? Mm, just be wise on what, you, on what you're doing. And like, always think before you do something because your actions could get you in trouble. Were there mistakes you made early on getting into this game? Yeah. Like, like what kind of mistakes did you make? Like, just stuff that I shouldn't have done because I could have been a lot farther than now, like, than I am now. <clears throat> Are there guys who will try to pick you up and you'll try and you'll, you'll just walk away or avoid the interaction? Well, yeah, like I could, I could feel something in my stomach if some, if someone's not right. Like, I won't do it if I have any like that feeling. But other than that, I'll do it. But like, I've had some situations where it backfired on me. But, but for the most part, I've been pretty safe. Sky, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? to stay humble and to like, to not let the worst like bring you down. Cause the sun's always gonna shine again. There's always a tomorrow, you know? Mm -hmm. Make sure. All right, Sky, thank you so much for sharing your story. Mm -hmm. Be safe out there. Yep. Thank you.